with machine learning, um, I guess a good example, since I do happen to know that you were also in band in school, um, would be classifying instruments. Let's say we wanted to build a model that we show it an instrument mm -hmm. and it has to classify it. So um, as you may remember in band, there are like some things that you can know about these uh, instruments, which we would, you know, these little things to learn about the instrument we call features. Um, so for example, the type of mouthpiece, whether or not it's a single reed, a double reed, just a metal plate, or some sort of bowl like you have with brass instruments, or no mouthpiece at all. Um, the weight of the instrument, what it's made of, um, its overall size, how you interact with it, do you blow into it, do you hit it with some sort of mallet? Um, all of this would be these features that you would collect and send to a model so that when I show it a flute, it can hopefully say, yeah, that's a flute. Deep learning often feature engineering isn't in the case. So as I've shown you with the example of, of band instruments, we've had to actually figure out, okay, we need to collect information about the mouthpiece. We need to collect information maybe about the number of keys, what it's made of, where instead um, you could just show it these are trombones and show it a million pictures of trombones and just yeah. say, this is a trombone, this is a trombone, this is a trombone. Just the way that you maybe learned what a trombone is or a, versus a flute. You saw them, nobody had to tell you how many keys a flute has. You just learned over time with your brain that, hey, that's what a flute looks like. That's a flute. Mm -hmm. And so with deep learning, a lot of that feature engineering, the, the model itself is so advanced um, that it's learning these representations and how to look at these features and combine them itself.